Our today's topic of discussion is corneal measurements, understanding the corneal contour. It was traditionally thought that the cornea was composed of several sets of spheres. A sphere is a geometric figure with an equal radius to all points from a fixed central point. Recent technology has provided a better understanding of corneal shape. These technologies have defined the cornea as an aspheric surface having a steeper central area and progressing flatter periphery. As it pertains to contact lens design, it is convenient to describe the cornea as two spherical zones. The first zone is the central sphere of the cornea, referred to as the corneal cap. The center, or optic zone, of the contact lens is designed to conform to the corneal cap. The second corneal zone is the flatter periphery, the area between the corneal cap and the limbus. The contact lens peripheral curve is designed to contour this zone. In order to match the curve of the contact lens to the curve of the cornea, it is best to obtain some type of corneal measurement. There are several ways to do this, which are described in the following paragraphs. Keratometry. The keratometer has long been the standard in measuring corneal curvature. There are several disadvantages associated with the keratometer. It is time-consuming with an inherent error rate due to operator difficulties. The major disadvantage is that the keratometric measure is limited to the corneal cap. The Myers are designed to evaluate the center of the corneal cap, limiting the measure to approximately 1.5 mm reflections projected onto the cornea. This is only 8% of the corneal surface. Additionally, most instruments allow for the collection of only four data points, which is considered statistically insignificant. Still, the keratometer is considered adequate to measure the curvature of the cornea or any convex or concave surface. The basic method for proper keratometric use is as follows, 1. Focus the ocular eyepiece by viewing the internal crosshair against a white piece of paper. Slowly adjust the eyepiece from its most plus position, where the crosshair will be blurred, toward the minus. At the point of best clarity, stop. Note this setting for future use. 2. The keratometer should be calibrated prior to use. The calibration is accomplished by measuring a steel ball of a known curvature. Most commonly, the balls are 40.50d, 42.50d, and 44.75d. They are attached to the keratometer with a magnetic mount. If the measurements are inaccurate, follow the instrument's instruction manual to adjust the drum settings. 3. The second step is to align the keratometer with the patient's eye. Occlude the non-examined eye. Align the scope by placing a light into the ocular so that it shines down the keratometer tube and is projected onto the patient's cornea. Adjust the vertical and horizontal position of the instrument until the projected light is well centered on the cornea. 4. Next, bring the Myers into focus with the focusing knob. Then adjust the vertical and horizontal knobs to bring the Myers into close alignment. 5. The axis is identified by turning the keratometer tube until the plus and images attached to the Meyer circle are aligned. 6. Once the axis is identified, the horizontal and vertical knobs are fine-tuned until the plus and Myers are overlapping. 7. Make note of the readings on the scales. Commonly, the readings are noted as horizontal diopters at the horizontal meridian, vertical diopters at the vertical meridian. This may be followed by a calculation of the number of cylinder diopters present and a comment about the Meyer quality. For example, 43.00x180, 45.00x90, minus 2.00 diopters of cylinder, DC, X180, Myers are clear and round. For irregular corneas, treat each meridian separately, adjusting horizontal and then vertical. 8. Extending the range of the keratometer, the corneal measures may be excessively flat or steep, thereby exceeding the scales of the keratometer. If this occurs, tape a plus 1.25, steeper, or minus 1.00, flatter, trial lens onto the face of the keratometer without blocking the plus, or, extensions of the mire. Measure the cornea again and consult a conversion chart for the exact value. A plus 1.25 lens adds approximately 8 diopters to the measurement. A minus 1.00 lens subtracts about 8 diopters.